For today's American hero, saving the planet through sustainable fashion, international upcyclers, Fran Gajardo and Eileen Babowski with the Kansas City-based group, The Sewing Labs, teaching people how to make old clothes new again. They're on a mission to not only teach people how to sew, but also spread the word on how many clothes are actually thrown out into landfills each year. The manufacturer of clothes, shoes, belts, accessories, otherwise known as textiles, if you didn't know, uh, is the second largest polluting industry in the world after oil and gas because, frankly, we got a lot of closets and we have a lot of fashion in those closets. And Eileen is joining us. If Fran makes it, we're going to invite her to come and talk to us too. But uh, Eileen, first off, you're a native uh, to... Uh, no, you're not a native. This is a question for Fran. Hold on, let me fast forward. The sewing lab, let's talk about that. It's teaching the legacy of sewing for enjoyment and employment and entrepreneurship. So tell us about that. Yeah, we are um, flooded with employers who are seeking to hire trained stitchers. Uh, the legacy of sewing is not something that's really taught in schools anymore, quite as much as it was when I was a kid. And so we're trying to keep that legacy alive by teaching people how to sew. And the employers that are banging down our door are seeking to hire industrial sewing machine mm. operators is overwhelming. And it's not just clothing. Um, there's tent and awning companies, um, construction equipment companies that need to stitch um, catch-alls for their equipment. Um, there's all kinds of needs. I think people don't necessarily realize how much product is sewn all around us. And, it, and these kinds of trades, I mean, they're vital and they're historic, but again, not a lot of people are learning how to sew. My mother sewed uh, some of my and my sister's clothes when we were little kids but you don't hear about a lot of parents doing that nowadays not to say there's not somebody watching right now who like my mama had the patterns and was cutting everything out try to teach me and i was not the sewer uh, but what do you say to somebody who has clothing right now in their closet instead of throwing it out instead of donating it maybe reinventing it making it new again what would you give them advice about Absolutely. There are some amazing efforts going on in the world to deconstruct your clothing and reconstruct your clothing. Um, and that's uh, part of the beauty of what we're doing here. We brought in Fran from Chile uh, through the Young Leaders of the America Initiative to help teach workshops, to teach people to upcycle their clothing. Um, used to be in the 1960s, the average person had 25 pieces of clothing in their closet. Whoa. Now, uh, now you look at your closet and it's jam packed and you look at the, the thrifting market here in Kansas City alone is huge. Everything I'm wearing today is thrift. Um, so let's repurpose, recycle, upcycle it was one of the founding principles for our nonprofit was to not put anything into a landfill. How can we repurpose the remnants in our room? We could be teaching people to sew and put them uh, into lives filled with financial dignity. Once you learn sewing, it's a skill that goes with you for life. Do you think that people do need to reduce the number of clothing in their closet? Maybe not going back to those numbers you just uh, quoted, the 25 pieces of clothing. That's a stretch. <laughs> but in terms of maybe getting rid of some of the things that they're not wearing as much to make life a little simpler and then being a little more conscious when they do shop versus perhaps visiting a thrift store. Absolutely. We talk a lot here about price per wear of a garment and having um, generational clothing. I hang on to some pieces that were my mother's or my grandmother's, and I love to bring those out and wear them and share them with my children. Um, there's got to be a way that we keep that legacy alive. And it's okay if I wear the same thing again. You don't have to just wear something once and then pitch it, especially when you realize where it ends up well i love seeing people who take like old t-shirts and make them into quilts i mean there's some things i just will not wear again eileen i'm just gonna be really frank and i may not go to a thrift store uh, as often as i used to when i was in college trying to save a few pennies but you can take things and make some amazing memories maybe even you know just have a sentimental pillow made out of, of one of your grandmother's favorite skirts uh, real quick we have 10 seconds your website is the sewing labs dot community thank you eileen <laughs> Thank you, Have a Adrian. great weekend, everybody. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.